Hello everybody, welcome to the replay of Inarian uh, in red with his Biggins versus Olivier Dulac in blue with his Skaven. This is the final phase, Olivier Dulac had won both of his games, Inarian had suffered a defeat. Did I call them Biggins? Oh my god. Anyway, whatever it is, no spoilers please because uh, you know we had we did see the, the second half of this much of the second now, but let's try now uh, you know watch the whole thing here so Inarian has gone four block black orcs and two tackle ones because obviously he realizes how absolutely horrendous the matchup is versus dodgy teams it's terrible um got him for the block double block on the troll a sneaky git um goblin to try and high roll and olivier dulac has gone for Juggernaut, obviously, to help build the one turn and just be good in general to blitz with him. A mighty bow and a guard for either attrition blitz, safe attrition blitzing, or you know, sticking good guard in places. A stripper, a blocker, and a wrestler. I didn't think it was a very good pack for Skaven, honestly, but obviously Olivia Delac is the number one ranked player on NAF with Skaven, so he's very comfortable with them. A much better setup from Inarian here than we saw from World Sitar. Um, if you if you see that World Sitar game, boy howdy, that was un that was exactly how to lose versus rats. Um, and this is a very sensible, much better setup from Inarian. <laughs> don't don't upset him here. Elliot is much stronger without. It's also on Fumble as well, right? Like the, the chat game on Blood Bowl Two was 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 Elliot's nemesis. So he does expose a goblin here to get this hit, which isn't great, is it? He's using his tackler to not really do much. Maybe he should have moved first with a tackler. the foul in, does nothing, gets sent off. Amazing. So, Glorious. the high roll. No, I won't give me <laughs> the high roll from the sneaky good. I'm victorious. Absolutely I defend. I will defend. Absolutely unequivocally. T-I-R-T-Y three months. Terrible. 33 months. 33 months. Not even months. It's got to be 33 months. <laughs> Thanks, Randor Carissian. Absolutely glorious. Staying fantastic for over eight whole beaver pregnancies. Um, thank you very much. And how do I feel about the dual tacklers? I, I understand it, right? Like, you know, look, Inarian wants to win the tournament. He knows how bad the matchup is versus dodgy things. So he wants tacklers. It, it, it's tough, right? You want block because block's the best skill in the game. You want guard because guard's really good. Let's you out muscle people. You've got brawlers, so you don't you know you don't get as much from block as other people do. So like, and it, it mitigates like having a blocker sky a little bit. So a bit of guard is fine. A bit of mighty blow would be fine. But then you've got a block troll, so you don't need the mighty blow. And having tackle it, I understand it. They're so much slower than lizards. I understand it. I would have still gone block, but I understand it. There you go, Hamiz. Need I say more? Need I say more, Hamiz? No, but I, I, you know, I don't rate anything. I like, you know, I just don't rate anything. The only thing I rate is the eye test. Honestly. It's the only thing I rate. I think any uh, any kind of stats are largely irrelevant. Oh my god, Trip Skulls gets the 3 plus loaner and gets the 3 on the loaner. And gets a removal. Woohoo! An amazing removal. Oh my god, <laughs> gone for the roger. <laughs> the roger hit on a goblin is a bit rowdy, isn't it? It's a bit rowdy. Flip me. The strip ball gutter is very dangerous, isn't it, for the goblins? 
He's got to be a little bit worried about that. I guess that's going to be his priority to try and deal with. Mm. Well, this is a pickle, isn't it? Just, I mean, he's getting a million blocks. This is very early for Olivier to like to commit all of his players. We've gone full chunter. Everyone's in. He's given away a million blocks. What will Denarian do? So far he's pushing things. Gets a pow, mighty blow. Gets a removal. Hits with tackle, does nothing. <laughs> but grab does something. Hits him with tackle and uses the blitz to clear the roger. So, oh, so this corner is really open. Really needed that dodge. So now we're going to get two dice on the ball here, or. One with wrestle or one with strip. I don't know which way is better. Right? Going for the one with strip. Interesting. I mean, this exposes your gutter, doesn't it? Needs a three plus as well. He hasn't got block. Follows. Not the best scatter. I, I wasn't a fan of that. I prefer just going for the 2 to be honestly. Less chance of using the reroll and the hit. And then more gutters to react. Oh my god, the scatters. The scatters, oh my god. This is wild. <laughs> okay, that was... <laughs> that was pretty crazy. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Hello Strider, very well played in your game. Watch watch that live. No spoilers of course in case people are watching us on YouTube. But well played. 3D with a tackle, here we go. And hits the strip, right? Good recovery by uh good recovery by an Aryan, but yeah, it does this 1D. It's, he's still in a pickle, isn't he? Like, this is... Oh, and he won in nines again! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, don't say it's over. But... Oh, did he use? He had to use the reroll on the, because of the tackle. So now he's out of rerolls. <laughs> Injured. There you go. Yeah, tackle did something, eh? Amazing. And he's got tackle on this guy as well. Already glorious. Like for blocking them, the the tackle isn't better, really, is it? Against a lot of them. I mean, this is this is the game where tackle's good, isn't it? To be fair, is he going for the surf GFI? Yep. I think that was absolutely worth it. Cheeky pow there. Full pow. Oh, head injury. Glorious. Hello, Frickipi. Thanks for the raid. And he's served. And 
and uh, was he cast by that? I think he was cast by that surf. Yeah. I'll KO on the surf. Oh god, right hook. Sorry. I've, I need to pause this because I'm just looking at that. When did this guy get cast? I don't remember that. Anyway. Um... <laughs> Oh, it's broken. Okay, here we go. So he just he just potatoed off. Three two two powered him. Diced. Yeah, I just missed it somehow. Never mind anyway. Oh wow. Rolls all the dice. Picks up the ball. And oh my god, all of the dice to screen it. <laughs> oh god. Inarian's got one reroll. So he could double GFI punch this guy. Or he could uh <laughs> KO him. Got a sizable number of players off. Or he could try and do something up here. Doesn't blitz him. Does nothing. Troll goes stupid. Hmm, I think I'm, I might have been tempted to double G if I punch him. Goes for the pass and fails. Wildly inaccurate, and it goes one square. <laughs> yeah, I, I quite. Yeah, I think at least put something on it. Yeah, at least put something on the line. Or, yeah, I didn't like just leaving that. Three dice troll blitz. Seems good. Manager 1 is really good. Well, I think Manager 2 is better, um, Timmy. Manager 1 seems to seems to be Crystal Hunter. If I if I didn't know, <laughs> I would have said Manager 1 was Crystal Hunter. Even crazier than Crystal Hunter, even. He just went all mans instantly. And then this happened. So there you go. <laughs> he was like Chunter with normal dice. <laughs> oh, he's made the pick up! Oh, that would have been the pass as well, right? Four! That would have been the pass, I'm, I'm sure, in the old rules. Minus two. Yep. That would have been the pass if, if you know, if Blood Bowl, you know, if, well, if Blood Bowl 2020 wasn't shit for passing. That would have been, that would have been, you know, not really the match, but it would have been a, a, a big pass. Ooh. Yes, Manager 1. Well, they've both won the same amount of games in the Tony Thompson is, but Manager 1 is 2-0, and oh, and Manager 2 is 2-1, and one because Manager 2 has had a second chance after losing a game. Um, manager 1 will not be afforded the same luxury if he loses this match. If he loses this match, he is eliminated. The only time in the tournament you can be eliminated on your first lot uh, on one loss, on your first loss and one loss, and it now looks pretty likely to happen to manager one because he hasn't got any players left. <laughs> I think he's going to protest. I think Manager 1's going to protest. That's what they do there, isn't it? Oh, wow. <laughs> the KO wake-ups. <laughs> One out of five. Diced. Four players at the start of the second. Oh. 
flip me. Well, it's a bit of a dicing, isn't it? But you know, that's the way that's the way he played the game, right? At the end of the day. Maybe that's how he plays all of the games. I didn't know what he meant, Tom. I didn't know what he meant. No, I don't like the tight LOS against against like three people on the LOS. Yeah, when he's got four players, I think you've got a wide LOS. Even like all men's LOS, right? Yeah. I really don't know what you're talking about, Chun. I know it's terrible. But um Did he have a did he have a chance to like reroll the catch? Or reroll the pickup? Or I don't know. If you care that much, we'll have we'll what we'll watch it again. We'll watch it again, shouldn't we? And I can answer you. But I mean, I would have done everything different to him, right? First of all, I would be playing Underworld, not Skaven. <laughs> One million percent. One million percent, I'd be playing Underworld, not Skaven. So already, what I would do is totally different and better. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Dimmy. I mean, there's no need to brag about winning with rats. You went 11 3 1 with knobs. Imagine, imagine not winning with rats after you go 11 3 1 with knobs. So he dubs gold, re rolled. Yeah, it probably is too results oriented, honestly, Chunter. Because like now we know how the rest of the game's gone, right? I would have honestly gone for the two D sack, and then you've got two gutters to react. Like I know, I know that you've got more chance with the uh, with the. Uh, Stripper, but you've also got more chance of having to re-roll, right? One in three, you have to re-roll. One in nine's terrible for you, and you just probably lose. I didn't like that at all. <laughs> Consider that. Better play. Better play, Paul Peter. Better play. I mean, he probably should just concede now, honestly, Olivia do like, but I guess he's got the slight chance, right, of this, this pass working and then him not getting knocked over. So, yep, here we go. No, oh, fails. Okay. Like, there was a chance, right, no matter how small. You've got, you've got to play for the chances you've got. And, like, honestly, Black, Black Hawks are so slow. That if any team can lose against four players, it's it's Blackhawks. <laughs> oh dear, they're so slow. Oh well, now they've got to lose versus three players. <laughs> Way, hey, Dimmy. Um, no, they they don't mind conceding in in this one, but. Uh, in this in this phase they don't mind you conceding when it's when it's the final 16 you know there's a, there's a there'll be a there'll be an official cast though not all of them because some games will will take place simultaneously i i think I mean, he's got three players left. <laughs> no, no. If you want nil up, by all means, by all means, flex. If you want nil up, but uh, no, obviously now is the time for Naring to be as safe as possible. Maybe this isn't. I don't know. 
Like, there's a chance of getting to overtime, isn't there, for Olivier Dulac? And then he's got, like, three, uh, four, five, six, seven players, maybe, if he gets to overtime. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> but, like, you know, I guess he should have been chucking dice, trying to do things. Oh, wow, so he doesn't bother blitzing first. Just doesn't blitz at all. Just keeps the X cage. But now we've got the we've got the dodge in for a two D, and fails the first one. So I mean that was definitely right, right? He could have he could have three six two D, got the pow, and then uh, very lazy, very lazy from Inarian here. Could have put in the two assists. Didn't. And uh, one could have gone there. And could have gone there. And he's literally moved people to where they would have been assisting anyway. And he's moved them after the fact. So he could have got three dice. A million percent. Very lazy. Very lazy Inarian. Zero out of ten. Bad play. Deserve to lose. <laughs> Never punished. Look a dog. <laughs> <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself, Inarian, for not making that a three dice block. <laughs> but there you go. Um, game plan worked. Just kill all of the rats. Yeah, I mean that's everyone's game plan, but it doesn't often work, does it? But uh, there you go. I mean, you know, look, he played high risk. He played high risk. I played high risk, and I think he should have done. I think, you know, giving all those blocks away, like so many blocks versus grabbers as well. It was a lot of blocks to be given away from like turn two, going straight in. It, you know, it played played a high risk, high reward game. I personally would have, you know, obviously I'm not like Chunter anyway, right? I always, I always err on the side of caution anyway, but especially versus like a match that I think I'm greatly favoured in versus uh, versus. Black Hawks, I think I would have, you know, tried to be even more conservative. But, you know, an Arian's good, so you can't just, like, you can't not roll any dice, right? So you've still got to try and do things. It's tough. It's a tough balance to strike, isn't it? And who's to say whether it's good or bad at the end of the day? That's rats, isn't it? They're armor seven. Sometimes they all, they all explode. And uh, <laughs> there you go. Um, but, you know, it sucks for Livy Dulac. He's one of the people. He's one of the people that I was sure I was going to be. Where it's just really, really, really unfair. Where you win your first two games and then you lose and you don't get a second chance. You know, and Arian lost a game, got a second chance. I lost a, I lost a game, got a second chance. You know, and it's it's just really harsh. These 14 lads who've gone 2-0 and do not get a second chance. But there you go. Commiserations, Olivier Dulac. Congratulations, Inarian. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.